Hello Year 9, I'm here to talk to you about the options for music at Kids Stage 4. Um, we're offering two different options this year. The first is Educast GCC Music. This course has got three main parts to it um, and it's based around the skills of performing, composing and appraising. All things that we have done at Key Stage 3. Um, the performance of the composition account for 60% of your final grade and all this work is done as coursework and it's completed over the two years of the course. Um, and the appraising is a listening exam um, and that's an exam at the end of, taken at the end of year 11, which will be 40% of your final course. Through skills of performing, appraising and composing um, are developed through a study of four different areas of study. Musical forms and devices, which is looking more at traditional Western classical music. Music for ensemble, and that's looking at um, jazz and blues ensembles and musical theatre. Film music, so looking at film music scores. And popular music, which is music that is popular, things that you listen to in the charts. Um, so the entire course, it all builds on all the skills that we've been learning at Key Stage 3. But the main key thing um, that if you are going to opt for music is that you um, play an instrument, basically. If you don't, if you're not already having lessons now, it's not too late, late to start. Um, it's not absolutely vital and essential that you do have instrumental lessons but it is absolutely vitally important that you rehearse and that you practice and that you spend the time at home practicing your instrument so even if it's just the work that we're doing in class you will need to practice your instrument at home that's the key thing but if you are interested in having instrumental lessons and starting having lessons we do have some spaces available and that's something that you can sign up for now or you can sign up for some taster sessions. You just need to get in touch with me and I'll try and get that to happen as soon as we can. The second option that we're offering is the Music RSL Level 2 Certificate in Performance for Music Practitioners, which is a bit of a mouthful. Um, but this course, it's a more practical course. There's no exam as such. Um, it's open for anybody who's got a really keen interest in music and particularly in performance. Um, so ideally if you play in a band, you know, if you've got a band at home or with people outside of school or if you've been involved in any of the music clubs at school and if you're regularly having lessons, um, then this is definitely the course for you. But again, it's not totally essential that you are having lessons. So this course is going to help you develop your music performance skills. Um, and you're going to gain a really good knowledge of like event organisation, of rehearsal techniques, um, and a little bit about the background of the history and development of pop popular music. So there's three main units. The first unit is music knowledge development where you're going to be studying different musical styles, you're going to be looking at all the different traits that compromise the musical styles, and you'll be, um, this is sort of like your theory kind of work, and a little bit of music history. And you're assessed on this um, with like a portfolio of written evidence. You can also produce a video presentation or a podcast. The second unit is live music performance. And this is where you will have a key performance role in a full live music performance. Um, it's going to be also going to be involved in the planning, the rehearsal, the actual performance itself and in evaluation. Um, the assessment for this is, um, again, it's like a portfolio that you put together with video recordings, um, written work, like a blog or a vlog, um, so like documenting all the progress as you go through and all the rehearsal process um, and the final unit is instrumental study where you will develop your instrumental skills on your chosen instrument and when I'm, all the time when I'm talking about instruments it's not just like 
piano, keyboard, guitar, your voice is an instrument as well. So if you, you know, you're a good singer, you like to sing in the shower and you think you can hold your own when you do a bit of karaoke, then this could be the course for you as well. Um, so yeah, instrumental study, you'll develop your instrumental skills on your instrument, um, showing that you understand um, how your instrument is mastered and maintained. You don't necessarily have to be the best performer, but you'll be able to explain, you know, the best ways of going about practicing for your instrument. Um, and again, for this, the assessment, it can include a video diary, showing your um, progress and development as a performer over time. So even if you start as a total beginner, you know, which is quite possible you can start as a total beginner, and then by the end of the course, you'll be showing all the progress that you've made. But the key thing is, is if you enjoy music, if you enjoy making music, if you enjoy performing, or if you want to learn to make music and to perform, then this is the course for you. Um, I tend to find that the classes are smaller than what we have at Key Stage 3. So there's a lot more one-on-one -on -one time. Um, everybody in the group actually wants to be there, so there's not the same kinds of messing around that you might sometimes find in your Year 9 lessons. Um, but if this is something that you are interested in and you need a bit more information, then please get in touch with me, drop me an email, um, send me a message on Satchel One, um, and we can arrange a time where I can talk to you through it, um, talk to you about the course. Okay. Thanks for listening. See you later.